Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tips by Anil. So in this video, we will see the multiples filters with the search functionality and how it's work. So basically, if you will see here, right now in this gallery, we having only 50 count. Even I'm having the data source as a SharePoint list and in that we having around 2500 plus records. But still that, after that, we are having here 50 records only. If I want to, uh, you know, scroll down, even after that, only 50 records are going to load it. Why? The reason is the delegation. Okay. So you can see here, delegation warning, the search part of this formula might not work correctly on large data set. So why the 50 records are going to load it? Because we have set the limit as 50 when the function is non-delegable. See here, set how many rows are retrieved from server-based connection where delegation is not supported, okay? So we know the search function is non-delegable with the SharePoint as a data source, okay? These filters short, short by column, lookup, start base is blank equals to these all are the functions with number, text, boolean and date time as per the table are delegable functions. Okay, but search is not delegable, but the feature of the search is, so suppose if I want to search the name K-A-U-R, K-A-U-R, even that I can see the name here. If I want to search L-O, whatever name are having L-O, they will be filtered, they will be searched automatically. Okay, so this is the functionality of the search. And here, if you will see, we are getting only 50 records. If I want to search the data that is seated beyond the 50, okay, the item ID here is 50. Now, if I want to search this user, okay, if I want to search this user, I can see I'm able to search this user, but if the user is seated beyond 50, okay, so suppose I want to search this uh, Leah Vega, then how I'll get that. L E A H. I cannot see, I can see item count equals to zero. But if I want to change my limit, okay, I'll go here and I'll change my limit as 60. Okay, then what happened? I can search that user. Okay, now what Power Apps will do? Power Apps will load locally first the 50 records. Now you can see. I'm able to set this record and even that record is set it on 51, but we can set the record because our limit is right now 60. Okay. Now you can see in the gallery, total item count equals to 60. We cannot load more than 60 record at a time in a power apps because the search function is non-delegable. How? We can overcome with this uh, issue. So what I will do, I will go here and I will comment it and I'll show you one more thing. First, I want to filter the data by the gender and by the country. Then I want search this name. Okay, so field one is my name. Okay, so now I will go here and I will refresh this and I will click here. Now suppose I want to filter as a male, okay. I can see the record has been filtered male, but I will get the data from the complete SharePoint list, okay. If even that the data is seated on row number 14, 497, even that I can see the data because filter is delegable function. You can see here, filter is delegable function. I want to search the record for United States. I can see right now, I can see only item count 60 and the row number 210, I'm getting the data. Now, if I want to search for the Brazil, I can see the data that is seated on 991, even after that, I can see that data, okay? So 
filter function is delegable. It will search the data in complete data source. Okay. Now, if you to search the female, you can see the data is set on 488. Even after that, I can see the data. But I can see only the 60 item count because we are applying a search functionality on the top of, of that filter data. So if you will see here, first we are going to filter the data and on the top of, of that data, we are applying search functionality. Okay, so now let me search this record. Okay, so in this 60 record, if I want to search this user, I can search. Okay, so see the data is going to be searched even this is seted on row number 488. Why? Because filter function filtered all the rows and the rows are and it will filter all the rows but it will load only the 60 count because we having this search function is uh, on the top of, of this filter function see here okay so only 488 rows we are able to uh, load in this gallery because we can load more data if this filter if the search function will not be available here okay so here it will see i will comment it okay and see i want only the filter and even i can try one more thing i'll show you So we don't want this search, okay, and we want only the filter, okay. Now you can see we are getting the data more than 60 rows, okay. So we are getting here 100. Now if I want to scroll down, next 100 rows automatically loaded here. Even that we have not changed the limit of this app. but after that as well we are going to load all the data that is seated in the sharepoint list and gender equals to male and country equals to china all right so the search function is non-delegable and it will work only on that uh, data that is uh, that is apply the total row count in the application setting okay so application setting having only 60 rows count and it will load only 60 rows even after that we having large data set in the sharepoint list okay so now we will try with the filter i will comment it okay now i will try with the filter okay with the filter uh, we already checked that uh, we can uh, load more data uh, as we want. Okay, so suppose I want to filter. Mm -hmm. I, I uncomment this. Yeah. So we can load more data as we want with the help of the filter function because filter function is non delegable -dele function okay now how we will get this search functionality okay we will not get exact search because i told you the search will work uh, like uh, if i'll uh, put anything uh, from that name like vo then also it will search the name that contains vo but the work around for this search i'll let you know so suppose we having this filter and what we are doing first we are doing filter with the gender and after that we are doing start with okay so this is all the filter so how it will work now we are going to filter with the male and here we having hundreds of rows and the rows is going to increase 
and if I want to search suppose this row J O S J O S okay E now I can see all rows that having the first name as J O S E and P H now if I'll go T A N then I can see only the data even that is seated on row number 2048 but it contains J-O-S-P-H, the full name J-O-S-P-H and space T-A-N. But if I want to try only T-A-N, it will not work because it is going to start with. So start with means start with the string. So suppose if I'll go for the C-A-M, then I can see all the record that contains in the first name C-A-M. Okay. So in the start with filter functionality, we can search only the start with or either the full name. Okay. Now, if you want, what you can do, you go and filter here and C A M. I'll show you this. So here you can see the user L E A H V E G A. So the full name you can see here. But start with filter will work when you having uh, uh, the name that contains LEH, either it's uh, the first name, in the first name, if it's contained LEH, we will get the data. We no, no, we don't need to put the complete name BEGA. So if I'll remove this, I will not get any row. See here. Okay. And similarly, in the search, you know, we having, if we will put anything that contains in that name, it will search. Okay. So the workaround is we can have multiple filters with the start with the filter okay so here if you want you can apply more filter here just go here in the end and uh drop down drop down one underscore two dot selected dot value equals to that will go in the country dot value okay so if we will search this you can see first we are going to search with the female and then we are going to search with the united states and after that you know here are 100 rows, rows are getting added now we are getting 200 rows and we can search the data like this Okay, so I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day. Bye bye. See you in the next video.